Azrael. <clears throat> Joycelyn. It's just, it's just us against the world. You know that, right? <clears throat> and I, I need y'all to prove your loyalty to me. Everybody has left me, took my money, and now y'all all I got. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna need you to prove your loyalty to me. Will you prove your loyalty to me? Yeah? When you eat this, you belong to me. Skits like this plus a lot more wine spill live with me and wine with Tasha K on stage in Miami on October 20th, 2023 at 8 p.m. I better see the winos at the Flamingo Bar Theater. Grab your tickets, doors open at 6.30 p.m. and seats are first come, first serve within your ticket tier. And if you think I cut up on this here internet, you ain't ready for the shit that's about to go down live on stage. Scan the QR code or get your tickets using the link below. The winos are toasting up in Miami. Purchase now. Okay. Now, you know we've been covering the harvest for many years and how, you know, um, fake this relationship is. And things are starting to crumble. And I told you, the team been talking. They been talking. They been telling me everything. They even tell me who Steve's side bitch was, you know? We put her out. She vegan and she don't wear no panties. And so now that, um, you know, his co work well, his employee, Shirley Strawberry, uh, his husband is locked up. They, they spend a lot of time on the phone telling everybody business, gossiping, doing exactly what we do, but they doing it a little better, okay? And so the things that are being revealed in these calls, it's like I'm not surprised at all. Every time Steve comes out to try to shut down rumors or block me or, you know, it's like if it's not true, you never chase a lie. You never chase a lie. But now when you got a woman on the phone sticking beside her husband, that's mine, I'm sticking beside him, I don't care how many side bitches he got on the side, or nothing like that, I'm first. And you gave him to me. And if you gave him to me, I know I'm going to be successful because you know, sixty. you know people, they do anything that rich people tell them to do. And the man done got accused of liking animals and, and kids and stuff and got protective orders on him and stuff all in jail and everything like that. And you just can't make this shit up. But in this first call, y'all about to hear, which call? Is this the call where he talking about, you know, she talking about Steve House and going to the house and had never been to the house and how Mordred don't let nobody in her house? All right, let's listen to this call that she had, you know, that was supposed to be a private call with her and her, um, you know, her husband, you know. <laughs> You know what? They have a, a Marjorie has her own spa, her own workout room, and her own spa. And she could go in there and get um, massages every day. People come to her house and um, damn, uh, and work her out damn. and all of that. I was like, oh god, what a dream! <laughs> Does she look old though? Does she look like she's getting old? No, I haven't seen her, but she looks good on her pictures. Oh, she ain't there. No, she's not there. If she was there, we probably wouldn't have been all over the house. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> now, Marjorie is everywhere that Steve is. And he's been a lot of places without her lately. And they trying to convince us that they still together. But the prisoners say, keep going. They ain't. <laughs> <laughs> but he's done it. No, you know he's scared. Damn, sure, right, God. What you say? You know he's scared, God. All of that, yeah. But, yeah he's everything. I, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in there, but he he brought us in, so I said okay. <laughs> but I mean, I'm glad he did because it gives you a chance to dream. You know, it's like wow, have a sauna in your house, have a steam room. You know, all the things that you go outside of the house to do. Not that. <clears throat> 
But things like that I would love to have inside so I wouldn't have to go outside for those. You know, like get my hair done, get my nails done, get a massage. You know, Damn. people come to you. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, and then she gets in these little, um, you've seen these, um, these chambers where people get in. You know, like, remember they used to talk about Michael Jackson having that uh, tube-like thing he used to get in? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, how about that? Yeah, she's got, she's got stuff like that in her in her spa, which is really cool, you know. What the chain So, do? yeah, huh, I guess it helps your skin. It's called a hyperbaric chamber. It ain't number oxygen to the skin. I don't see rich folks with that little tube that Michael Jackson used to get in, and then she got one at her house, you know? She sold a lot of dope to get where she at, Shirley. You ain't did that, okay? Went through a lot of husbands, been a lot of uh, side bitches for years, and this time she is here to stay. But she ain't there, okay? Now, um, ooh, when that wine came out, I told you, when I had started talking and the team started talking, I said, I know I, I knew shit about to hit the fan. I know it's about to hit. They ain't going to be able to keep up this front for long at all, okay? The palace, that's why she was in the house and wasn't supposed to be in the house because if she, if she was still controlling the house, they wouldn't have been in the house even if she wasn't away. So Steve brought him in and let him go. So you best believe they got cameras in there, but she ain't got access to that because she ain't there. She ain't running shit no more. It's that vegan chef, Dr. Brashear. Yeah. But he don't want the world to know he ain't trying to mess up his brand deals, but he 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 just want to take care of Marjorie. He don't want no messy-ass divorces because the last divorce was messy, and he ended up sending that bitch down and taking her kids. But now, she she going to take his kids. <laughs> kids that don't even fucking belong to him. I said, you can't make this shit up. Now, after Shirley was parlaying and giggling and shit, talking about her boss, and I heard they were supposed to be doing a show about these calls on Monday. Now, since everybody, all R. Kelly supporters, want me to go to jail for leaking R. Kelly shit, how this shit get out? How about say what? Can okay. you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I hear you now. Mm -hmm. uh, the communication with you is less harder because I can't email. Okay. So what you're hearing now is Shirley Strawberry, who was just giggling with her husband about Marjor Steve being scared of Marjorie and she ain't supposed to be in the house, but Steve let him roam through the house and been having parties, and Marjorie is nowhere near around. She don't know if she getting old or not, and that's unheard of because the, Steve, the team say that Marjorie don't leave that nowhere by himself, okay, because she that's money she leaving, but he got her kept up nice and quiet, okay, because of what's going on, but they are not together. Not together. Now, and you heard it here first. So after he, she got off the phone giggling with her husband who's being charged with bestiality and, 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 and messing with kids and, and scamming people and stuff to pay her bills, um, he's definitely not scamming enough to get you a, a spa in a hyperbaric chamber in your house in a nail salon, sweetie. You're going to have to find somebody else, okay? And you're talking about dreaming big. By the time you dream and get that, you're going to be dead, bitch. Now listen. Um, he decided to get on the phone. I don't know why women don't like to check the calls. If you, you the wife, you get to check the log of who he talking to. So now the world know he talking to you and one of his side bitches. Okay, listen to the call with the side bitch. Now, let's go. Hello. Yeah, I got to figure it out. I, but you can actually get mail there. Oh, I can? Yeah, you can get mail there. You I can send you mail. Uh -huh. Pictures and all that too? Oh. Yeah, there's no Polaroid. Okay, well, I'm good with that then. Send me, send me the same one you sent me in. I'm good with that. First of all, with that tank top. I love that one. That's my favorite one. Um, is that your favorite one? Yeah, and the one you land in the bed when I'm pitching it in your bed. I love okay. That. My stalking picture. Yeah. Because you talk too, but if one is out there, it's my favorite. I think the one with the glasses. You had the glasses on. I can't. Mm -hmm. But I love it. But the hair? Yeah, I like that. I like all of them, to be honest with you. I like all of them. But them pictures are more important to me than they got them commissary because they feed you good. Yeah. Right. Oh, good. Yeah, you good, good okay. portions. Shower better. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you um liking it over there better, that it's a better facility. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I will say this here. I showed me and myself some good ass pictures. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Can't wait. Get that motherfucker primed up, girl. Get, get that muscle right. Now this is the side bitch, okay? This Shirley husband, 
who she been capping to and writing to the judge saying, free him. So he can go see this bitch that she, he said he he preferred the pictures and the short hair and all them. He preferred her pictures over the commissary money that she sent him. Let's go. I'll be doing my exercises, my stretches. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm over here. At least I can get the pictures in my hand of you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's, that, I'm excited about that part. So I got to get, get me some stamps so I can write you back. So I got plenty of time to do that in here. I'm trying to now, but I like, I'm glad I went through what I went through so the communication with, I, can, I, I enjoy the communication with me and you every day. Mm-hmm. Every day. Right. I like that they could have paid my time with because if I'm up all night, I can read your letters all night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then I can take time to respond back. Ah, oh, look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed that part now because that part of my time. You made my time go by so quick like that. So I'm in the picture there, Lowe, Sam. I'm, I don't know. I'll send as many as I can. Well, y'all don't know you. Well, yeah. You only need five. I mean, that's all you need, five. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We don't we, we don't have any together, so you know, uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna have plans together. Don't you worry about that shit. That don't mm-hmm. worry about that. All all that, mm-hmm. that shit I already know that shit coming. I'm not worrying about that. I just tell you I appreciate you for everything. I really appreciate you and you have no clue. This is a man dream. For real. Mm-hmm. For real. Yeah. yeah, no, for real. Now, Shirley's dream was to have a house like Steve's. His dream was to have pictures of his side bitch. Keep going. You see me? I love that one you're in the bed, Naka. But you took two on one, Arco, but one is the best. I will send you that one and the one with the tank top. I love that one. Uh, mm-hmm. I like the one with the glasses with the show hair. I like that one, too. Okay. I, like it. I like the one with the big braids. I love that one, too. Oh, the braids? Love, yeah, I love that one, too. That Boy, that shit... You're a pretty motherfucking woman now. You're very pretty. You just unique. Got a unique style. Like we just met though. You've known me for what almost two years. Yeah, but but don't don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me. You know what it is. This your first time seeing me. No, I, I mean I understand when you be like, man, look here, man. It's some big just move out your way. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I understand because you got that same goddamn aura about yourself. So I get, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm just looking at you as a female. That's all. That's uh, you know what I'm saying? Because you're a threat. Motherfucker want to be your side. Them titties so goddamn pretty. That shit is ridiculous. Thank you for allowing me to be the first motherfucking to touch them pretty motherfuckers out. Thank you so very much. That's pretty crazy. You're welcome, man. But you're welcome. <laughs> but you're welcome. <laughs> you are welcome. Hey, for real. Uh, and, I, and I like the fact that you appreciate them. Yeah, I do. Money yeah, well spent. Yeah, yeah, I do. I appreciate Money that. well spent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure do. Okay, love. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, call me tomorrow. Okay, love you, that sweetheart. I thank you so very much. Keep the game <laughs> through right. and stay out the way. I stay out the way. When that when that thing get hot, just pat it. That's all you gotta do. I take showers now. Thank you. I saw that in your text. I saw that in your text. Yeah, I saw. I got to take a shower. I got to... What the hell Steve got going on down there at the morning show? All this scandal is going on. He giving everybody relationship advice and his team. And his team got all that fucked up relationship. You cannot make this shit up. I, that was a juicy ass call. Jazz is over there like... And you see how he was talking to her like he was talking to her like a pimp. See, he he wasn't really giving the wife that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? But when he got on the phone with her, he made sure that he did most of the talking to keep her mind going. Yeah, you send the pictures, send the commissary money. Yeah, 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 you a pretty motherfucker. This is how he used to do the women. Now, I do got a recording. It's on one of these phones of a young lady that I talked to that he did the same thing, too. Had her it out her bank account, and she didn't have much, okay? I'm going to try to play it on the... Um, on TashaKLive.com. But I'm like, Shirley, now they supposed to be addressing this on Monday. I don't know what the fuck they're going to say. During the strawberry letter, they supposed to read the strawberry letter with Steve. We just waiting on Steve to announce his divorce so we can be done with this. But I know it's going to be nasty. And he just, right now, he finally got the advertising dollars that he want. He finally got ownership of his name. Well, he thought he did because this bitch owns it now. And her kids own his name. You know what I'm saying? And he is trying to peacefully do things, but the team just keep fucking shit up. It's teaching me how to run a tight ship too, run this motherfucker, okay? 
Absolutely. So they ain't bring none of them people around me. They ain't coming in the house. Y'all ain't coming in the house at all. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I got an open door policy. I don't give a shit. I ain't got nothing to hide. All right. But I don't know what to say. I think Shirley and Ernesto said it all. Everything that we had said. Now, Steve, like I said, got another woman. We did put her out, Dr. Brashear, allegedly, and he's been courting her for 20 years. She's beautiful. She looks like a nicer version, just a vegan version of Marjorie, okay? And so um, if you heard in that call, uh, it was the first time they were in that house. They had never been in that house because Marjorie, if Marjorie was around, they wouldn't be in that house. But she hasn't been around for quite some time. And you know she got cameras in the house watching $400 million. But she doesn't have control of that no more. So she's in her own space laying low. Okay? I'm, I'm, I, don't be surprised if he pop her ass out next week to make everything seem like it's great. Because she's a paid wife. She's a paid hoe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm. The right dollar will make her keep that thing hot. Okay? <laughs>